from covering crime to reporting on threats to the public as they unfold. The police scanner is the link that allows those beyond law enforcement to know what's happening. Chicago police are now joining at least half a dozen other departments in encrypting their radio frequencies so those without their specialized equipment can't listen. Media law attorney Stephen Mandel is making the case for Chicago news organizations. Once you encrypt the, those transmissions, that shuts off that level of information, which affects both public safety and our ability to monitor how our government works. Hmm. So why would the Chicago mayor allow police to encrypt their radios? Remember, she's the woman who wanted to hold police accountable during the BLM riots. Videos of police officers doing bad things was a good thing for the public to see. Now, the crime in Chicago, not alleged police misconduct, is the biggest story in town. Suddenly, she wants to limit the media's ability to cover it. Ben Bradley, anchor investigative reporter at WGN in Chicago, is with us. Ben, first of all, incredible reporting and important reporting. We're just going to play a little bit more uh, and then get some of your thoughts. There are rare cases when people have briefly commandeered police radio signals. But here's how Mayor Lori Lightfoot portrayed the threat back then. I think that there were some inappropriate people that were, t were sporadically um, on the lines, but it didn't hinder uh, any communications with the officers that were in the field and the different deployments. Now the city only wants the public and the media to have access to police radio traffic via a website on a 30 minute delay. Right, in a world where everything happens on Twitter, mm -hmm. 30 minutes is an, in, in eternity. Um, let's be fair about this. Is there a compromise, perhaps, where accredited media organizations get one of the encrypted radio scanners, and that would prove that it's not about limiting access, it's about officer safety, right? So Chicago media organizations have made that exact pitch to the mayor's office and been flatly rejected. Um, because that would be a compromise, because there, we are the eyes and ears of the public. And without us knowing what's happening on the city streets via police scanners, the public doesn't know in real time, at a time when crime is one of the biggest concerns in our town. Well, crime and why it's happening and who's committing it and being able to know that what's happening in your neighborhood becomes really important. They're making this argument around officer safety, which is interesting because it was not the argument they made a couple of years ago during the BLM riots. But what are they saying about it now? So they do make the argument about officer safety. They say, hey, you know, we have anecdotal information that gang members are listening to scanners to know when the police are coming. Uh, but they have not given us any specific examples of where an officer's safety has been put in jeopardy by somebody listening to police scanners for nefarious means. And keep in mind, as you know, Leland, the media is very good in live situations. Yeah. One, we don't put scanner information on the air without confirming it. We also don't give away tactical positions. We don't say, oh, the SWAT team's about to go in the back door. Hey, bad guy, if you're inside, just a heads up. The, the mayor's office is notoriously difficult to get information out of in Chicago. You guys are some of the best at doing it. Have you heard sort of behind the scenes what their calculation is on this? So this is not um, happening in isolation in Chicago. As we mentioned in the piece, San Diego has gone to encrypted frequencies, Denver, Las Vegas, um, and other cities. What's unique in Chicago is that there is so much focus as there should be on crime here. We just set a 40-year record for murders last year. Now, murders and shootings are down 15 to 20% this year. But without the media being able to listen to police scanners in real time, there will be a much um, less full picture of what's happening in our city. And, I would point forgive, out- And forgive me, yeah. I'm not, uh, yeah. as, as much as I enjoy living in Chicago, I don't follow local politics as closely yeah. as I should. I'm pretty sure the mayor's up for re-election. She is up for re-election. Uh. There's no doubt she wants less crime <laughs> coverage. But here's a solution. In Las Vegas, they did exactly what you're saying, and they gave accredited members of the media an opportunity to listen in. In Palo Alto, California, they encrypted the frequencies so bad guys couldn't jump on and, and, and chirp radios. 
they actually reversed course and opened them back up because they thought it was that important for, for the public. Yeah, no, like, look, just Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.